ladies and gentlemen, my name is Industrial Fate. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Factorial 4X, your 15-minute Factorial fix. This is Season 3, Episode 14. And we're cleaning up from the base busting that we've been doing. And I don't recall if we're heading home immediately or not. I don't think we are. I think we might head north and take care of some, uh, some fellas up there. Just so they can stop knocking on, uh, you know, our heaven's door. <laughs> Gotta pick it all up. And here I get a little confused up here because it, I'm not sure which way the, the uh, power lines were going for a minute. And there's the coal. So when I look out, I go, mm, should I take care of them? Do I take care of them? I think I might. Yep. I'm gonna go fix their little, little red wagon. Put some guns down so I can, you know, and that guy just ran right the hell by me. <laughs> Which I thought hilarious. Um, and I think up here I forget to connect some power. Is it here? It might be here, I don't recall. I do remember doing something and went, ooh, this is bad. Uh, but at, the, at this point I'm, I'm debating on pushing up to the big... Um, I'm debating on pushing up to the big base up there to the north of us. Mostly because it's in a lot of trees. And I'm just sort of... I, oh! That's what it is. I run out of monument stuff. So I have to leave. <laughs> I can make no more victory monuments. This campaign is over. That's the, uh, the equivalent of us not having any winter clothes during uh, Operation Barbarossa. So... We are going to come down here and now we have science again. And so I put in... A bunch of it. Oh, that's right. I tried to clear the blueprint. So, um, so we're looking here. Uh, oh, I built a couple laser defenses. That's right. Because a uh, uh, couple episodes, I remember talking about being able to shoot person lasers out of your car. So I'm going to actually, um, I think at some point, I, I well, I haven't yet. I'm going to build a car and do donuts around an alien base and see what that gets me. Uh, but before that, uh, things happen. There's some lasers. Pew, pew. So anyways, um, <laughs> um, one of the things I'm going to end up doing is I now have to start thinking about trains. Um, and I'm just setting it to build concrete because, you know, I'm going to need tons of it. Um, I'm at some point now that my Science is kicking again. Um, is it my science? My iron just gets wrecked. And I'm not sure what it is. Let me see if I can find it again. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. Yes, I set up the... Um, I'm going to build the system... F the system. I'm going to build a setup to create uh, red... Red belts, red underground belts, and red splitters, because I'm going to need them in the future very quickly. And here I'm kind of like, um, I'm debating on whether I should keep it here, because I, everything, I'm mostly building everything out of my pocket, and that's really kind of an awkward way to do things. So I'm going to go get some landfill, because I have to make the bus bigger, and the building area bigger as well. You know, I wonder if there's an advantage to a double-sided bus. I mean, obviously I put the science... Excuse me. Obviously I put the science on one side. But is there an advantage to... I don't know, building on both sides. It's, it's, if that makes any sense, instead of doing just science on one side... Um, you know, like, like putting a... a Green circuits on one side, then red, cir red circuits on the other. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Now, this is always an interesting thing because we have to reuse the yellow... We have to use the yellow belts twice. 
uh, because belts are required for the red belts or yellow belts required for the red belts as well as the uh, what do you call it as well as the underground belts and the splitters are going to need their own uh, yellow belts built <laughs> so it's this is this is actually kind of a big pain in the ass is what this is and of course all the advanced stuff is supposed to be a big pain in the ass that's the point so here we are cranking away chunk of the chunk of the and I'm gonna futz with this for a while I'll admit um, and so here I'm just like okay we're just making regular belts because I I still will need uh, yellow belts uh, because anything on the line again doesn't need red belts unless it's a it's a main throughput like like for iron and copper those need it now this this system I'm setting up right here is chewing through my iron and it's gonna chew through my iron until it gets uh, until it gets uh, caught caught up so to speak so here's how I'm balancing here's here's how I'm making this I've got iron one side and then I've got belt and whatever these things are oh well never mind I combine the uh, the iron and the belt instead hm. here I'm trying to balance it there's the red belt as you can see the, the iron is just getting pretty threadbare right there and it's all because of this one assembly It's chewing up a lot of iron, ladies and gentlemen. And again, because I, I've never built this before, I'm... Oh, do I take the entire thing apart? Yes, I do. Yay, robots. <laughs> so I think what I'm doing is... Um... Yeah, okay, this makes sense. I don't think I'm making enough gears is what it is. Now, believe it or not, this can lead to problems on its own. But that's how things go. Um, and actually, I like how I, I eventually do like how I set this up. Uh, it has kind of a neat organic feel to it, which is admittedly a very weird thing to say about anything industrial, but it kind of does. But everything gets running and it's all good. <laughs> In the hood. Um, so here I'm setting up the uh, the red. So what I'm doing is I'm setting up um, I'm setting up a splitter there so I can then create. Uh, how do you put it? Um, so I can then also feed an underground belt mechanism for lack of a better term and this is actually pretty interesting and I and you know I, I do like the way I set this up well initially I kind of do something goofy uh, but then I fix it Why did I do it this way? Is it, is it this assembly? No, this one's running fine. Okay, so this one, I keep the way it is. Um, however, it's not... Uh, the the last... Uh, once I do that, the the last uh, assembler can't, it can't put any um, gears on the line. It just can't do it. So, I don't think I ever solve it. So maybe I take it off. I don't. <laughs> I don't recall. Uh, but so I put a balancer in there, and it's. Oh no, I don't put a balancer. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I no idea. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. So again, I need to build a, and now I have to build the uh, splitters.
Now for splitters, I have to build a, essentially the first part there with the belt, and then it has to feed into us. I'm also going to, I will also have to add, uh, what do you call it? Um, I will also have to add crane circuits. Now I'm trying to recall if I, what I do here with this. Now the funny thing is I actually probably could have used the gears, the gear wheels from there. Um, and it would have worked out fine. But I don't, so. And, and I, I don't also use, uh, I set up that way so I use less gear wheels. So there's that. Looking all nice and pretty. Excuse me. So this is actually unnecessary what I've done with the uh, combining of the two belts. And I, and I actually think it kind of hinders everything. So that's going to get changed. Have some circuits. They're delicious. They're in season. Very green. And this one, it just works out perfectly. Bang. Bang. There you go. And that's to make sure I get enough um, items. Because you, you do need them to feed in fairly fast. Because it requires a ton of items. So here we're just going to place our weird power poles, because that's what you do. Now the belts aren't feeding. I think I'm having problems with the belts feeding. It's actually because I don't have any... There we go. Now it's going to work. So, But I like this setup better, actually. I think it looks better. <laughs> but I have, uh, I have red belt accessories running. And I think I, I, think I pull a stash box on the yellow splitters because I'm like uh, I'm making them why don't I just make a stash box and if I don't I need to uh, oh, okay so here I'm gonna build a bunch of the yellow assemblers because I really want to I'm gonna put on my blue science so my blue science put it on yes I uh, guess I do put on the blue science so there we go and this is really again this will help chew through the iron um, it's gonna, my iron is just going to be wrecked from all this. And that's when I'll realize that I really need to work on my throughput. And that's when I'll go, I've got to set up terrain. I'm just looking at the iron. Look at that iron. I cannot push enough iron. It just, it doesn't work. So this is where I start. Uh, look at that pollution. It's amazing. This is where, yeah, I, I need to, um, I need to start working on setting up the, where the train's going to go. And again, the big fill area. Um, yeah, my my uh, my miners can't push, can't push the product. So here I'm I'm just kind of getting starting to get stuff ready. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and where figure out where I'm gonna lay. Um, that's gonna be the input, and we'll move that. Cause so, I kind of want to start thinking about where I'm going to put stuff. Um, I don't know if, again, vertical trains don't work as well, work as, well as horizontal trains. Uh, so, but vertical trains fit real nice in here. So, I, I may end up doing that. Unless I just, oh, well, never mind. I'm going to expand the whole shebang. And, uh, yeah, I've got room in there for trains. That looks pretty good. So, and here I... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of putting stuff away. All right, I'm just going to put all the, the oil junk in here because I don't really need it. So, you know, start collecting train stuff, signals, you know, things like that. Red circuits to make other junk. So, All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're wrapping this up. Thanks for joining me for the latest episode of Factorio Forex, your 15-minute Factorio fix. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a good night, and bye-bye.